It's infuriating. There's nothing he can do. I don't agree. I think it's feeble. He should will himself not to be ill and then collapse the next day. Whom will you ask instead? I'm not sure. Ooh. I've known Sybil all my life. Yeah. So you can imagine how curious I was when I found out you'd be here tonight. I never thought we'd meet in person. As opposed to what? In spirit? Well, you see, to us, in marrying you, it seemed like Sybil had left Downton Abbey forever. If you know what I mean. I know exactly what you mean. Did they lose your suitcase on the way over? How maddening for you. No, my suitcase arrived safely, thank you. Along with my manners. He's still dressed as the man from the Prudential, I see. Yes, it's nice to have someone from the real world, isn't it? Hello, Mama. Can I tempt you to one of these new cocktails? No, I, I don't think so. They look too exciting for so early in the evening, don't you think so, Carlson? Better avoid it, my lady. I think so. What a pleasure it is to see you out and about, Sir Anthony. I want to say, can I be of any help? But you don't seem to need any. He doesn't need help at all, do you? He won't let me do anything. Mustn't be a nuisance, you know. Are you coming to the wedding? Of course. Well, if you really want me. I do. I really do. You look very nice. Have you done something jolly with your hair? I say, what the devil? What is it? Dinner is served, Your Ladyship. How's it going? Awkward. Mr. Branson's well away and Lady Sybil doesn't like it much. I don't understand it. He's only had one cocktail. Maybe he was drinking before he came down to calm his nerves. Yeah. No, I don't agree and I don't care who knows it. Well, the Black and Tans are there to restore order, are they? Well, why don't they just murder the entire population and then you wouldn't hear a squeak out of any of them? Is there any way to shut him up? If I knew how to control him, he wouldn't be here in the first place. Are you interested in Irish politics, Lord Newton? Well, I was only just saying that I thought... He's interested in Irish repression, like all of you. Look, old chap, of course this stuff matters a great deal to you. Yes, it does matter. This stuff. It matters a very great deal. What's so funny? Nothing. I'm just enjoying this vivid display of Irish character. Please, Tom. We don't need to wear everyone out. Oi. What's the matter? Am I not being polite enough? Oh, wait a minute, this was down to you, wasn't it? I don't know what you mean. Yes, you do. I saw you. You put something in his drink, didn't you? Just before we came in. That's not true, is it, Larry? What a beastly thing to do. Oh, come on, Edith. That's not like you. You could always take a joke. A bully's defence. Listen, everyone, Mr Gray has given my brother-in-law something to make him appear drunk. Could it be drink? No, not drink. Some horrible pill. Sybil, take him upstairs. You'll no monker, sir. Tom has been the victim of a cruel prank which I know you will all be kind enough to forget. Forgive? Perhaps. Forget? Never. Is this true, Larry? I don't know why you're all getting so hot under the collar. He's only a grubby little chauffeur chap. Uh, uh, be silent this instant, sir. I apologise for my son, Mr Branson. Unreservedly. I only hope you recover before the wedding. I hope so too, since I want him to be my best man. Bravo! Well said. Do you really mean it? Honestly. I've told you before, if we're mad enough to take on the Crawley girls, we have to stick together. Oh. Thank you, Matthew. Thank you so much.